Ultimately the latest variant of the Chinese-made J20, the J20B, is intended to be equipped with the powerful Chinese-designed WS15 engine that will offer increased performance, possibly better fuel efficiency, and a higher altitude flight envelope. But as production of the newer engines fell behind schedule, China opted for foreign designs made in Russia. China's Chengdu J-20 stealth fighter entered service with the People's Liberation Army Air Force with great fanfare, and with dire analysis that the United States has lost its edge in the stealth aircraft domain. While the J-20 does make China the second country in the world to use a domestically designed and manufactured stealth fighter, its platform is far from perfect. Direct parallels have been drawn between the nose and canopy of the J-20 and the F-22 Raptor, one of the United States' premier stealth fighters and arguably the most stealthy fighter currently in existence. However, it is one of the few characteristics shared by both airframes. One of the J-20's more prominent features are the canids, small wing-like control surfaces near the cockpit. Although canids are not necessarily incompatible with stealth designs, they provide the radar operator with another surface that can reflect radar away from the fuselage and amplify the aircraft's radar signature. But the potential problems don't end there, engines are another area that stands in the way of the J-20. The most interesting part of this display of the J-20's lethal payload capabilities is the pair of PL-10s housed outside the jet's side weapons bays. This new configuration is one of the most interesting aspects of the J-20 design. Capable of traveling more than a dozen miles or more, possibly farther according to different judgments, this missile, combined with its ability to exit the J-20's side bays, can be used as a silent killer. The J-20 can leverage its stealth capabilities and sneak up on targets without emitting any electromagnetic energy, using only its advanced passive avionics, which includes electronic surveillance measures, infrared search and track and electro-optical targeting systems, and third-party sensor data. Feeds. For it through data links, to find its prey. In other words, the J-20 can take advantage of the PL-10 when maximum emission control tactics are used or when it has sneaked up on its target and is in close range, but not yet within close range. Using this method, J-20 pilots can also use the PL-10 for offensive duties when long-range missiles are used. Considering the jet only carries four long-range missiles, at least for now, being able to make full use of the PL-10 is key. Again, this is in addition to using missiles in classic close combat scenarios. Finally, an infrared guided missile with a decent range like this and the ability to stay out of the bay for a long time is also a good backup when fighting in tough electronic warfare environments as the missile imaging infrared seeker is unaffected by electronic warfare tactics. In addition to the F-22 Raptor's stealth characteristics, the F-22 Raptor is highly maneuverable thanks to its thrust vector exhaust nozzles. Thrust vectoring exhaust nozzles allow the jet to be very agile and help the fuselage move in a direction other than the nose of the jet, a characteristic known as supermaneuverability. However, the Chengdu J-20 lacks supermaneuverability thanks to traditional exhaust nozzles and an underpowered engine. China has struggled to build engines powerful enough for the J-20 domestically, which is just as important as thrust vectoring capabilities. Ultimately the latest variant of the Chinese-made J-20, the J-20B, is intended to be equipped with the powerful Chinese-designed WS-15 engine that will offer increased performance, possibly better fuel efficiency, and the envelope of a higher altitude flight. But as production of the newer engines fell behind schedule, China opted for foreign designs made in Russia. While the Russian-designed AL-31 engine does offer superior thrust and improves the flight characteristics of the J-20 platform, the People's Liberation Army Air Force will no doubt prefer not to rely on foreign-sourced engines and move production of the J-20B engine to China. 
Although the newer Chinese engine missed its production deadline, sources claim that development of the WS-15 is in full swing and the engine should be ready in the next few years. Until then, the Chinese J-20 will be carried aloft aloft the Russian engine. However, China's J-20 will only become more capable as time goes on, most notably in the area of flight performance, if not stealth. Please pay close attention to this topic for future updates.